This week in the Missouri Senate, we review a new law that seeks to curb spending on certain tax credits. It's a program that deals with historic buildings, historic structures. It's a tax credit to help incentivize and remodel, redevelop neighborhoods, as well as preserve historic structures in our communities. Senate Bill 590 was pre-filed back in December, heard in the Missouri Senate Local Government and Elections Committee on January 23rd, first discussed on the Missouri Senate floor on February 19th, sent to the Missouri House of Representatives on March 29th, given final passage on May 18th, and signed into law on on June 1st. Sponsor, Senator Dan Hegeman of Cosby says the time has come to re-examine tax credit spending in Missouri. Today we have a very generous program with regards to these historic structures. We have a cap on this program of an allocation at $140 million a year, which is approximately two and a half times larger than the state with the next closest program, which is Ohio at $60 million a year allocated. During the January 23rd committee hearing, Senator John Rizzo of Kansas City wondered how much tax credits are really producing. At what point are we giving a tax credit away just to give a tax credit away? During Missouri Senate floor discussion on February 19th, Senator Hegman talked about the need to revisit this issue. You know, we don't ever have this discussion during the appropriations process. The only way we can have that discussion is by bringing it to the floor. Senator Jamila Nasheed of St. Louis asked, why cut something that is in high demand? So logically thinking, if we max out, what that means to me, and I don't know what it means to you, is that there is a demand. Senator Hegeman contends it can be easy to let tax credits grow since they are not a part of the budget. Is it still right and proper to keep $140 million allocation for this program in the budget today and in today's climate? Or are there greater needs out there from the state of Missouri, such as providing more money for higher education or elementary and secondary education? Senator Jason Holzman of Kansas City is also concerned with how this new law would impact future projects. But it's easy for us to negotiate on the number and be able to feel like we could come up with a number that you and I could both live with. That part of it I don't think is what is really hanging us up here. At the end of the day, that's easy. Numbers are easy. Senate Bill 590 will become law on August 28th. The last day for the governor to sign, veto, or let legislation take effect is July 14th. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate, plus see a complete list of truly agreed to and finally passed legislation by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.